And welcome to our show for Chevrolet. We've got a whole bunch of television firsts for you tonight. It's the first time Ginger Rogers has ever appeared on television without Perry Como. <laughs> and it's the first time Mike Nichols and Elaine May have been on television out here in Hollywood. And when you have two guests known as Adam and Eve, you got a real television first. How do you like them apples? Honey, I hate to differ with you, but it's uh, Mr. Adams and Eve, and actually we are Howard Lupino and Ida Duff. Uh, <laughs> well, whoever you are, I'm delighted you're here. <laughs> Look, I want you to say hello to our whole television audience out there in television land. <laughs> they look like a firing squad. Oh, come on. <laughs> sure will. Oh, come on, Howard. A big strapping fellow. What are you afraid of? Live television. <laughs> <laughs> Want a blindfold? No. <laughs> Dinah, really, he's scared to death, and so am I. I, I, don't, I don't understand this. Huh? Well, look, look, let me put it to you this way, Dinah. How many people watch your show, huh? Well, we often wonder. Uh, <laughs> 30 million, right? Well, maybe on the... Clear day. Oh. 30 million. Yeah, right. Now, did you ever stop to think that every time you move, you're being watched by 60 million eyes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I never quite thought of it that way, no. Well, just think about it for a minute. Dinah. Yeah? What are you doing live television if your nose itches? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Mine never itched before now. <laughs> Is it all right to scratch? No, that's not very Chevrolet. <laughs> Ida, people are watching. Just ignore it. Yeah, ignore it, Ida. Well, uh, <clears throat> what are you going to uh, do this summer? What are your plans? Well, uh, Dinah, we've been planning to do some noses. I, I, uh, I, I mean some summer stock. Did you say something, Ida? Who can talk? I'm too busy ignoring my nose. Yeah, look, look uh, Dinah, this is ridiculous. Why don't we just all turn around and get this over with? Oh, huh? I'm for that. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, now, what did you say about summer stock? Yes, Dinah, we're thinking about doing some stock this summer. Oh, that's why. What will you do? Take one play and tour the different summer theaters? No, no, no. We'll stay at the same theater and do a different play every night. Yeah. You're going to do a different play every night, and you're afraid of doing this one little hour television show. Oh, well, this is much rougher, darling. I mean, when we do a play, it's a cinch. Yeah, we have a system, Dinah. Well, I don't care what kind of system you have. You've got to learn your lines. No, we don't. That's our system. You see, Dinah, wh whatever play we're doing, uh -huh. whatever play, we make the same moves on stage. And wherever we happen to be, the lines are waiting there for us. Well, I don't follow you at all. Well, rather than trying to explain it, uh, why don't we just show it to you? Why don't you? Jennifer. Sam, please. It'll be much easier for us both if we just say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye? Is that all you have to say to me? After ten years of togetherness? Well, Sam, it's all been said and reset. I just can't stand to hear it anymore. Sure, sure, sure. I was wrong some of the time, but you weren't always right. While you were out buying mink... Mm, I was out... You were out buying mink coats. Sam, listen, I'm confused. I'm so confused. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then when I come home at night, tired and hungry, I'd go to the oven, and what would I find? Scraps. <laughs> Sam, the only reason I wasn't here was because I was tired of sitting alone nights, waiting while you were out playing billiards or on the town somewhere. Well, look, when all is said and done, who's to blame? Maybe you're right. Go on. Have a good time with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> oh, really, Sam, you don't understand. I'm not looking for somebody new. I just can't stand watching you destroy yourself with suspicion and jealousy. Jennifer, Jennifer, don't leave me. I, I need you now more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> if I thought that were true and you really needed me, wild horses couldn't tear me from your side. Well, whatever happens, don't forget, I love you. <laughs> I uh, hope that 
that stuff wasn't too heavy for you, Donna. Oh, Donna's. that's pretty risky pretty, drama. Pretty I'm not, but you know that system, Howard. You handle it so smoothly. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's only after years of practice. <laughs> uh, you should have seen us the first time we tried it. I don't see how anything could have gone wrong. No, we were all right. It was just that the, the stage hand uh, put the right lines in the wrong places. Oh, I'd have gone anywhere to have seen that. We'll save you a trip. We'll when do you... it for you. Right here. All right. Jennifer. Sam, please. It'll be much easier for us both if we just say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Is that all you have to say to me after ten years of togetherness? Oh, Sam, it's all been said and reset. I just can't stand to hear it anymore. Look, look, sure, I was wrong some of the time, but you weren't always right. Well, I was out working my minx to the bone. You were out buying scraps. Oh, oh Sam, I'm, I'm so confused. Confused. <laughs> then, then, then when I'd come home at night, tired and hungry after a hard day's work, I'd go to the oven and what would I find? Winston's. Oh, oh Sam, really, the only reason I wasn't there was that I got tired of waiting nights alone while you were out running around the billiard table. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, I got so tired of waiting. <laughs> yeah, well, look, when all is said and done, who's to blame? Maybe you're right. Go on. Have a good time with every Hart, Schaffner, and Marx. <laughs> Sam, really, don't you understand I'm not looking for somebody new? No, of course not. It's just that I can't stand watching you tear yourself to shreds with health and happiness. And the Hong Kong Noodle Company. Uh, Jennifer, 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 don't, don't leave me. I, I, I need you now more than genuine bone china. <laughs> if I thought that were true, if you really needed me, wild minx couldn't keep me from the oven. <laughs> Whatever happens, don't forget, lose prop shop. <laughs>